Hello everyone and happy Friday. My name is Zachary Lupin and I'm an avionics reliability engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 11th launch of the year and 210th hey, mission to date. For those of you following the Starlink program, Starlink is now available in 47 countries and 59 markets around the world. And today we are sending another 51 Starlink satellites to orbit. Currently, weather and range are both green for launch, and we are proceeding with a T-0 time of 11.12 a.m. Pacific time from Vandenberg Space Force Base at Pad 4 East. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. We should see those strong back arms opening up here shortly. And there you can see them going. Coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed liquid oxygen loading. Sitting adjacent to the Falcon 9 rocket is the transporter erector, or TE, which is the truss structure next to the rocket that is used for rollout and to route propellants and electrical power to the vehicle in preparation for launch. The weather at Vandenberg Space Force Station is currently looking pretty darn clear today. Stage one, lock flow complete. At T minus three minutes, the Falcon 9 first stage is fully loaded with RP-1 and LOX, and we're awaiting completion of LOX load on the second stage in about 52 seconds from now. As a reminder, the Falcon 9 rocket uses a fuel, RP-1, and an oxidizer, uh, liquid oxygen. And you can just make out some of the white clouds forming on the body of the rocket. This is because the booster is very cold as we slowly vent a little bit of liquid oxygen. Stage two, lock load complete. And there's that call out of stage two lock load completion. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with one million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. The booster you see on your screen is flying for the ninth time today, having previously supported the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich mission, the NASA DART mission, and six Starlink missions. After liftoff and stage separation, the booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Coming up next, we should hear that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means the rocket is on internal power. Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is now in startup and the rocket is on internal power. LD is go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 51 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power and lift off of Starlink Group 2 5. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicles pitching down range. And what the chamber pressure is nominal. Plus 35 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Launch Complex 4 East at 11.12 a.m. Pacific Time. Power and telemetry nominal. Vehicle is supersonic. There's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic. This means the vehicle is currently going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This means that the vehicle is currently experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. And we are about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, Stage SEP, SES-1, and Fairing Separation. MECO, or Main Engine Cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down. Stage Separation is when the first and second stages separate. SES-1, or Second Engine Start-1, is where we light the Merlin vacuum on the second stage. And Fairing Separation is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. Keep an eye out for these events, which will happen in rapid succession. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there we heard those callouts for main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, and fairing separation. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves today using our recovery vessel NRC Quest. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven, with one half flying for the fifth time and the other its sixth. And just as a reminder, on the left side of the screen is the Falcon 9 first stage, and on the right side you can see the second stage, which is carrying the Starlink satellites. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is stationed in the Pacific Ocean. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage, which you see on the right side of your screen. Both uh, stages are following nominal trajectories. That second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for another several minutes. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 210th mission overall and 11th mission just this year.
Now with the first stage on the left side of your screen, you can see a pair of those titanium grid fins measuring about four feet by five feet. Those are the primary mechanism used to control the booster during its descent. And it looks like that booster has reached Apogee and is now actually descending back towards Earth. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. And just as a reminder, on the left side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage, which is coming back to Earth to perform its landing. And the second stage, with the Merlin vacuum engine visible, is on the right. Both vehicles are still following nominal trajectories. Stage one, entry burn, start up. There's that call out for the stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. The first stage used to launch our 51 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its ninth time stage today. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. Having stage one, FTS has saved. Having previously supported the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich mission, the NASA DART mission, and six Starlink missions. And you heard that call out that the entry burn on the first stage has also completed. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one is transonic. And there you heard that the first stage is now transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you heard Come and back, saw back. that Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 172nd overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal orbit insertion. And if you heard that call out, we had nominal orbital insertion of our Starlink satellites. And with confirmation and with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff, that wraps up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink satellite deployment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.